Good morning, hot dogs, and welcome back to the morning announcements. Mardi Gras night, sports, weather, and more after the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mardi Gras night is tonight. We hope to see you there. Support our hot dogs against TriWest. Also, Coach Kids are still here to help you get those credits and be there for a great success and a career pathway for your great future. Also, on a side note, if you still want to be in Crash, sign up while you can. The deadline is September 14th. If you have any questions, please contact Ms. Johnson via email. For today, lunch lines 1 and 2 will be pizza sticks and lines 3 and 4 corn dogs. Now to weather and sports. Thank you, Al, and hola. It must have felt a little cold this morning with the temperatures being 57 degrees. Today's high will also be 77 degrees and later tonight it will drop to the mid 60s. During the game today, the temperatures will be in the low 70s. There will also be a slight breeze. Over the weekend, you can, you can expect rain on Saturday while the temperatures stay in the 70s and drop into the 60s at night. For tonight, the Frankfurt Hot Dogs hosted the Eastern Commons in the regular season play. The Hot Dogs control the match from the kickoff. Excellent all-around team play from the unselfish, unselfishness led to five different scores as Frankfurt defeated Eastern as 7-0. Scoring for the Hot Dogs were freshmen Cesar Lenice and se seniors Jose Balderas and Miguel Gabriel. Scoring twice for the Hot Dogs were sophomore Miguel Hernandez, senior, senior Yobani Tornado. Cesar Lenice and Marcos Garcia Cruz and Yobani Tornado all had an assist on the night. The Frankfurt travels to Crossroads on Thursday, September 9th to resume conference play. Kickoff is at 5.30. Let's shake it off, dogs. Good morning, hot dogs. It's finally Friday. Last night, the late hot dog soccer team traveled Northwestern High School for a non-conference matchup on a night that turned to a great night for soccer. Unfortunately, the late dogs just didn't seem right the whole night, which led to a very average night by the team. While it was tough to gain some traction, there are still some bright spots of play throughout the night. The offense did manage to break the Tigers' defense several times, but can get that breakthrough goal. The defense, while it did concede five goals, still fought well against the track team that makes up the Tigers' offense. On the night, the defense generated eight offsides calls against the Tigers, with several of those chances taking away some clear scoring opportunities. The hustle from the girls' soccer team also routinely cleared out some clear scoring goal scoring opportunities from the Tigers. Goalie Vanessa, Gu Vanessa made a collection of fantastic saves throughout the night. It was under pressure quite a lot. The loss drops the Lady Hot Dogs to 3-4 and four on season with their next game being Tuesday when they travel to the Mounties of Southmont for their second conference game of the season. The girls golf team traveled to Crawfordsville last night. Emily Shipley led the way. She went 43. Chrislyn Shipley Played well in Shaw, 57. Great job, girls. Tonight, the football team will play the Bruins of Tri-West. If you can't make it, the Hot Dog Network will partner with the IC Sports Network. So go and check it out. Plus, why does Northwestern have a purple tiger? I don't know that. That's it for sports. Do you know why we celebrate Labor Day? Well, it pays a, it pays a tribute to the contribution and achievements of America hard workers and it's traditionally observed on the first Monday in September. That's all for today's announcements. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's announcements. 